this market invest of the week, four lean advertising campaigns that went viral. Twitter launches TV ad targeting. And our segment, cool ideas of the week, including tips and insights on Facebook advertising ROI, Google Penguin 2.0, Google Analytics goals, and email marketing. This is Rajiv Parikh, and you are watching the marketing best of the week. Four lean advertising campaigns that went viral. This is by Professor Tali Sashera in the Harvard Business Review blog. Tali's research includes eye tracking, facial expression analysis, and lab experiments to understand why people view online videos, how to keep them watching, and what gets them to share. We've heard of lean startups and the lean manufacturing revolution. Here comes lean advertising. These are cases where effective campaigns were produced with 10 to 1% of the traditional or paid mass media budget. Here are four terrific examples. Number one, DC Shoes. Co-founder Ken Block takes tricked out race cars and drives them through closed airports, theme parks, and various cities. In this case, it was in San Francisco. There was no sound other than the vehicle ripping through these places and jumping, and it was really exhilarating. What they did was they load them on YouTube instead of advertising them on TV. All the videos combined got over 180 million views total. 47 million for this one through San Francisco alone. In 2011, sales were up by 15%. The equivalent exposure of this, which they did with other sponsors, would have cost $5 million. Number two, Blendtec. This well-known internet favorite features founder Tom Dixon humorously taking everything from iPhones to iPads and uh, glow sticks or marbles and blending them through. The video collection has over 240 million views and is a great example of a success where with very little marketing dollars, they're able to get a tremendous amount of exposure. The only thing I would point out here is that the odds of success for this can be low in that only 3% of YouTube videos get over 25,000 views. So it helps to go out to influencers and spend some money on various digital marketing channels to promote those videos. Number three is Speedstick, produced via Tongle. What Tongle does is it enables brands to post specs for various projects and then match them with freelance creative talent. In Speed 6 case, they paid as little as $17,000 and then spent $4 million promoting the ad during the Super Bowl. This ad was rated higher than Coke, Pepsi, Lincoln, and Anheuser-Busch's ads. Number four is Golden Grams, produced by the San Francisco-based social media and video firm Mechanism. This campaign was a series of animated videos of job interviews gone humorously wrong. What they did was they created a set of videos and solicited viewers' own stories via Twitter. They turned 50 of those into online videos and promoted them across influencer networks. Overall, they got over 2.5 million views. 60% of them were sourced via those influencer networks. And finally, we've seen this with our own clients where we can take their white papers and technical documents and turn those into short, very impactful videos. What's new from Twitter? Twitter recently beta announced TV ad targeting. With 32 million people tweeting about TV shows in the last year, Twitter is offering brands an innovative way to engage with those viewers. Through video fingerprinting technology that came through their Bluefin Labs acquisition, Twitter knows where and when ads are displayed. When people tweet about those shows, Brands can drive promoted tweets to their followers. Those promoted tweets could now be sent to those followers via Vine, video, or these new lead generation cards. This leads to the second interesting release from Twitter. Lead generation cards. Instead of going to a landing page and off of Twitter, a user can now click on a lead generation card or tweet within the tweet and have their name, email address, and Twitter handle pre-filled in and sent off to the advertiser. They can then stay within that Twitter experience 
and the advertiser can get information more quickly and thereby increase conversion rates. Now our segment, Cool Ideas of the Week, Facebook ROI. Unlike what most people think, Facebook is not just a way to provide branded reach. Facebook definitely has the ability to measure advertising ROI. Using Facebook Power Editor, you can set up an off-site tracking pixel for elements like leads, registrations, checkouts, or key page views, and then measure OCPM, or optimize CPM, or cost per thousand impressions, for number of conversions, conversion value, and cost of conversion. Using this, Facebook claims that advertisers have seen a reduction in cost per conversion of up to 40%. Next, Google Penguin 2.0. And as mentioned in the May 23rd Best of the Week, Google's latest anti-spam release has impacted a number of sites. In addition to clearly marking advertorials, you need to look at over-optimizing money keywords or keywords that generate traffic in your sector or have a heavy impact on driving traffic in your sector. In the case of CheapoAir.com, they saw a 40% decrease in SEO visibility after this release. And the, in the analysis of them, they had 66% of their links as money keywords versus 29% for competitors. And so because they were so far out, they were penalized by the Google Penguin 2.0 release. Google Analytics and Goal Verification. This is a cool new capability. In Google Analytics, you can create multiple goals by using standard templates based on your industry. They can be revenue, acquisition, inquiry, or engagement oriented. They can be custom as well. And once you've set up this goal in Google Analytics, you can test it on seven previous days of data to ensure your system works as intended. Email marketing and contest. According to this new infographic, running a $500 contest generates 700% more email subscribers versus landing pages without them. According to an incentivized study of 3 million interactions on 100 websites. Thank you for joining us this week. Hope you found this information to be really useful in your marketing efforts. Please subscribe to our channel and look forward to seeing you next week.